Hi, I'm Alice, and Greg is behind the camera today. We're here at the Zocalo in Mexico City, and we want to show you what it's like after Christmas. And we're back with part two of Winter Holidays. Today we want to talk to you about a special marathon that we're big fans of. It's called the Guadalupe Reyes Marathon. And we'll tell you all about it because you might want to celebrate it at home. After that, we'll tell you how Noche Buena is celebrated here in CDMX, what they eat, what they do, how late they stay up. And another tradition that is celebrated here, and we pro you probably celebrate it at your own house. It's called the Recalentado. We'll tell you about that. After that, we'll talk a little bit about New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and we'll finish it all off with Three Kings Day. So there's a lot to celebrate. Stick with us. On our way to the Socalo, we walked past this sign advertising a restaurant's holiday menu, and it reminded us of the traditional Noche Buena dinner that we were unable to have. My 99-year-old aunt usually hosts all our official family gatherings, but sadly this year, she and my cousin were exposed to COVID on December 23rd, and our Noche Buena celebration was called off. The good news is that my aunt and cousin are experiencing no symptoms, and just because we didn't get to enjoy the holiday meal doesn't mean we can't tell you a little about what had been planned. But first, let us tell you a little about what's normal for us. As Chicanos who grew up in Los Angeles, our Noche Buena experiences had involved the making and eating of tamales on Christmas Eve. And after an early dinner, we'd switch gears and start prepping cookies to leave for Santa Claus, while listening to Lalo Guerrero sing about Pancho Claus. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the casa, Mama, she was busy. Imagine our surprise when we moved to Ciudad de Mexico and our aunt and cousin started telling us what to expect on Noche Buena. First of all, this would be a large extended family event. Presents would be opened on Christmas Eve, not on Christmas Day. People here in Mexico don't have to wait for Santa Claus to deliver gifts because the gifts are brought by El Niño Dios, aka Baby Jesus, and he gets to your house around midnight. So that's when you open the presents. The plan is for dinner to be eaten late, just before midnight, and the menu, perhaps most surprising of all, was the news that we would not be feasting on tamales, but turkey and spaghetti. What? I couldn't believe my ears, but we kept hearing about turkey and spaghetti with cream sauce, so our family wasn't just trying to trick us. We've heard that some families have cod instead of turkey, which didn't make me feel any better. I have to confess that I was missing the Christmas tamales. If you live in Mexico, what's the popular Noche Buena feast in your part of the country? Please let us know in the comments below. How ironic that since our change of plans was very last minute, the only things we had in our cupboard were a package of spaghetti and a jar of marinara sauce. We improvised a salad to complete our dinner, then settled in to watch Die Hard on TV substituting popcorn and wine for our planned midnight feast. Welcome to the party, pal! For us, Christmas Eve has always been somewhat low-key, so we had fun. Clearly, it's not like that for most Mexicans. All the action takes place on Christmas Eve here in CDMX. Traditionally, Christmas Day is no big deal. It's leftover day, and families get together once more to eat the leftovers from the Noche Buena feast. December 25th is the day of the recalentado, or reheated food. But it's not all about eating. There's drinking, too. In fact, there's a special marathon that takes place during this season. It's called the Guadalupe Reyes Marathon. Don't worry, Guadalupe Reyes is not the name of a famous runner. There's no athletic training required for this marathon. All it takes is determination to party. To take part in the marathon, one must commit to eat drink and make merry from December 12th through January 6th. Ha! We thought celebrating 12 days of Christmas was indulgent. 
The celebrations linked together by the Guadalupe Reyes Marathon are December 12th, Day of the Virgin of Guadalupe. Every evening from December 16th to December 24th, the nine posadas parties. December 24th, the last posada and Noche Buena or Christmas Eve. December 25th, Christmas Day. December 28th, Holy Innocence Day, akin to April Fool's Day in Mexico. It's remembered by playing practical jokes. December 31st, New Year's Eve. January 1st, New Year's Day. Are you still running? January 6th, Day of the Epiphany or Three Kings Day, Reyes Magos. As the end of December approaches, we prepare for New Year's Eve by selecting or buying the appropriate underwear, making sure we have a broom handy, and rinsing and disinfecting a large batch of grapes. New Year's traditions in Mexico are similar to the U.S. There's still a countdown to midnight, music and drinks, but there are also some fun rituals like these. Special colored undies. In Mexico, people wear red undies if they wish to find love in the coming year. Those who aren't looking for love often wear gold or yellow undies to attract more money into their lives. Green is good for health, white for peace and serenity. Eat lentils. This is done on Noche Vieja, as New Year's Eve is known here. Eating lentils on this night is said to increase financial prosperity in the coming year. Twelve grapes at midnight. Each grape is a wish. You have 60 seconds between 12 midnight and 1201 to consume and make your wishes. So eat fast, but don't choke. Take your suitcase out for a spin around the neighborhood. As you walk, imagine the places you want to travel to. Sweep. Get rid of any negativity from the previous year by sweeping your house from top to bottom in the early hours of the new year. New Year's Day is more low-key. Some families host another recalentado or leftover party, but truth be told, for a lot of people, this is a day to recover from the night before. If you're doing the Guadalupe Reyes Marathon, there is no rest for you. El Día de Reyes, or Three Kings Day, happens on January 6th, and it feels like another Christmas, especially for the little ones who receive gifts from Melchior, Gaspar, y Baltasar, the three wise men who are offering gifts to the baby Jesus. The event is celebrated with a rosca de reyes, an oval-shaped cake with a little plastic baby baked inside, which represents the baby Jesus. In ancient times, a bean took the place of the toy baby. Each person at the gathering is offered a slice of cake. It's important to make the appropriate number of cuts so that there is no cake left over. The reason for this is that one of the people at the party will end up with a slice containing a little plastic baby. That person becomes responsible for providing the tamales and atole for the next feast day, which is Dia de la Candelaria on February 2nd. Any excuse to keep partying. We hope you've enjoyed part two of how people in Mexico celebrate the winter holidays. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe. You can also hit the bell to be notified when we publish new content. Feliz Año Nuevo.